The other thing that Jeff, that's learnable, that's remarkable about Jeff is the time scale is his, is his way of thinking about time. Most of us are actually very short-term thinkers. Uh, we don't, um, you know, uh, many who are so short-term just think about what, what they're, you know, what's going on, you know, how can they satisfy their needs at this hour? Uh, some of us who are longer term can think in terms of days or weeks or months or a few years. But Jeff thinks in terms of decades. And, you know, if you want one example of the way in which he thinks at a timescale that's different, just go Google uh, Clock of the Long Now after this podcast and learn about a project that he is financing to build a clock that will run for 10,000 years. And uh, he's also deeply curious about space. And if you think about, you know, space and time, then you realize, of course, that we are A, so small, and B, you know, time is so vast and long. So uh, that long-term thinking, though, it comes in very handy when you are uh, trying to be an effective business leader. Um, another thing that is... Um, you know, learnable about Jeff uh, is the way that he um, uh, believes that the the interests of customers are perfectly aligned with the interests of shareholders. And m- most businesses don't think that way. They actually, you know, think that the interests of shareholders are all just about how do I deliver um, the right financial results to them. And in some cases, the needs of customers are at odds with that. And, you know, this kind of goes hand in hand with the long-term thinking that um, if you have long-term thinking and you think about meeting customers' needs over time, over the long arc of time, if you stick with that, that um, you will actually get the right outcome for shareholders. 